Marvel Comic Book people out there! The first issue to the new Generation X series from Marvel Comics has recently come out. This is written by Christina Strain and it's illustrated by Emil Carpina. Okay, I probably mispronounced both the first and last name of that artist. I used to be a huge fan of the Generation X series. I loved Jubilee and I liked the idea that she was going to be having her own classmates of other mutants where she'd be going on her own adventures. Although over time, the series changed drastically. In fact, the very last issue I felt was really depressing. But still, I was really optimistic seeing that this was going to be a new series being written where Jubilee was going to be a part of it. But in this instance, she was going to be one of the teachers instead. Which makes sense being that she's now an adoptive mother and a vampire. This first issue isn't really introducing any brand new characters. Although it is introducing the reader to these characters in case you haven't been following what they've been doing in the previous X-Men titles. None of the characters really pop out too much for me to want to like them. However, Quentin Quire, also known as Kid Omega, is a character that I've hated for like years. I guess they need their antagonist who's somewhat of a good guy but also somewhat of a bad guy too. In the original Generation X series, Monet was a character that was very snobbish but she was still a good guy so she had this kind of snarky attitude. It seems to me that Quentin is the character that's going to be filling those shoes, at least to an extent. I do like that Benjamin Deeds is a part of this series. They haven't really explored his character too much. He's going by the codename of Mort. He's also openly gay so I'm really hoping that that's going to be explored sometime down the line too. Another Generation X member, Chamber, makes an appearance at the beginning of this issue. I don't think he's going to be having a major part in the story overall, but I do hope that maybe he'll make some reoccurring appearances along with some of the other remaining Generation X members who haven't been killed off. The major focus of this issue is the new student, Nathaniel Carver, who's also known as Hindsight. And of course, being the new kid in school, seeing all of these things going on, including some fighting taking place between other mutants, starts to scare him off. But for story purposes, we know that's really just a misdirection because we know that's going to be leading into something else, which this does at the very end of this issue. I don't want to spoil the ending for this issue, but it does leave off on a cliffhanger where there is something pretty darn dangerous that could possibly happen with the school. But then again, it's a school of mutants, so you know what? There's going to be all kinds of different stuff happening to this place. My overall thoughts for this issue was it was okay. It wasn't the worst story I've ever read, but it wasn't the best kind of story that I was hoping for either. I was kind of hoping to have something more to have all of these characters start to bond or at least have some more connection with each other rather than them just being classmates that they've already been up to this point, except for, of course, a new kid coming in. But it is just the first issue, so maybe in the next issue, they're going to start to have a lot more of a family feel to them. I'm going to give this to at least the end of the first story arc to determine whether or not I like it. That's really it. I can't really say much more about it without giving away any major spoilers. Like I said, I was interested in it, but it wasn't to the point where I was really excited. It is readily available on Marvel.com, or if you want to go to Comixology.com, you can download it from them directly. Otherwise, you want to buy it in any comic book store, just about anywhere, because I don't believe it was sold out at any places that I've heard of. But with that, I'll leave you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you haven't checked it out yet, check out my Patreon site, check out my social media sites, my websites, and everything else out there. Peace, love, and I'll stay. I'll see you guys later. Peace. that I really liked about Generation X is that they were separated from the rest of the X-Men. They had their own mansion, they had their own school that they were going to, so they had their own adventures that didn't kind of coincide with what was going on with the X-Men. I hope something like that may end up happening with this team.